Good morning, Headhunting Housewives. It's your recruiter, Diane O'Brien. How is everybody on this Wednesday morning? It is early and dark, like usual, here in Philadelphia. And today, I want to talk about why Wednesday. Uh, yesterday, we had Tactical Tuesday. We got in the weeds a little bit, talking about sourcing and recruiting, um, and more about the how-tos of it. Um, but I think you all know I like to start my early mornings um, when I have my cup of coffee and just kind of looking out the window and thinking about what I want, right? And what my family wants or what we need or would like to have and kind of wishing. <laughs> it's kind of like a wishful Wednesday. Um, I think last week I talked about, um, you know, who you want to be, thinking about things like that what you maybe would like to have, um, maybe a lot of the selfish questions in the past that you thought were selfish or labeled selfish. Um, us women are always giving to our families and a lot of those around us and you feel almost guilty taking time to think about what you want or what, like, what you would like to do. Um, but I definitely think it's a great idea to do that. And if you're following this podcast, there's probably a reason um, you're starting to think in bigger ways, maybe want more for your life right now, or want to be somebody different than you were yesterday. And I find all that really exciting. Um, you know, I also think I thought I was thinking about women mentors I've had, and I've spoken about that in another podcast. I focus more on my business mentors. Um, but I talked to my mom yesterday and I think about, you know, my sister who I talk to often and, uh, just the other women in my life that have been so encouraging and, you know, I thought about it, how much power is in it when women get together and to talk about positive things and their family. And, you know, it's always us women that are sharing what's happening in the family, right? We kind of share the stories, I believe. And I was going to talk to my dad yesterday and he mentioned he was going through the garage and throwing things away and he had piles and piles of letters that my grandmom had wrote to her sister in Argentina and she would write back to my grandma and, you know, he just saved all those letters. And I was like, well, don't throw them all away, dad. I want to, you know, I want to save a couple of those. If any of them are in English, they're probably almost all in Spanish, but he said there were a few in English and he would definitely save some for me. I just wanted to see my grandma's handwriting because she was so influential in my life. I grew up weekends going to my grandma's house. And, um, you know, for those of you that don't know, my uh, grandparents, my dad came here as immigrants from Argentina when my dad was, I think, only 14 years old. Um, so it's funny. I think about my grandma. I was joking to my daughter. I know I'm getting way off subject here, but I'll get back to a little more businessy stuff in a minute. But just in thinking about how us women think and how we are, and and the point I started making about the grandma and my um, and her writing letters is they would tell stories, and those letters were just about what was happening with the family. Like, you know, my son is doing this and, you know, my dad was in boarding school for many years and, and I guess you're probably right about what he was doing when he was coming home for the holidays. And then, um, you know, go on to other parts of the family. And it's just fascinating. You know, me and my sister now do that. We're at the older we get, instead of talking about us and what's going on in our lives, it's about what's happening with the family, what's happening with the kids, what's happening. You know, my sister already has grandkids and, it just becomes about that and our focus seems to get hyper focused on those things and almost i don't know if we don't realize it but i think as we get together and talk about it we're also wishing you know for the best and what maybe the plans they have you know what colleges they're looking to attend what their goals are and sometimes i think without even consciously recognizing we're putting out well wishes for those family members and what they're hoping for we all kind of want to wish for it for them. Like I know I have nieces applying to vet schools and, and different, different things. My own daughter applying to schools, uh, as you know, and, you know, as I'm secretly wishing for their best, I'm also then now secretly wishing for my family's best or my, the kids of my friends I hear wishing for this or that. And I'm kind of wishing with them. Right. So I know we always say how, you know, prayers go out and condolences when negative things are happening in people's lives. Often on Facebook, there are so many deaths that happen around us and we, you know, of course, we say that prayers are with with them. Um, but I also love the thought of, you know, wishing people the best and wishing with them and us other women when you decide who you want to be and you think of the women that have supported you and maybe you want to follow, you have these wishes for yourself and these well wishes for other women. And I think there's such power when us women get together and kind of wish together and um, for the positive things in life to bring good things about. 
um, there's that magical kind of witchiness again in our wishes. And especially, again, we do these together as a team of women. Um, it's a shame that back in the day when women would come together in nature to have these, you know, wishful thoughts and positivity, they were deemed witches, you know, probably because there was power in it while it sort of been deemed bad by the powerful back in the day, whether it was religion or men. And so I think there's just a lot of um, proof to how much power women have and we often don't recognize. And I think we should start coming together more, not just on our own. And luckily places like Facebook have really enabled us to see what's happening in the other women's lives that we love and that we wish well for just by seeing pictures of their family or what's going on and it's shown the more beauty of life versus all the negative news that's out there and that's been a really positive force it's a great way i think to use social media and if we can take it a step further and us women not just wishing others the best and in the family life but if we can start coming together in more powerful ways in business um, to help each other grow to invest in one another, um, in ourselves first, of course, but then investing in one another's businesses and ideas and helping grow. I already see that goodwill in women when it comes to charities on Facebook, for instance. I see all of you showing up for each other and sending, whether it's 20 bucks you can give or 100 bucks you can give, you wanna show support to other women. Again, or if it's just a well wish or a prayer. Um, but I think the more that we mobilize in a way as women and the more, again, we come together in business and where money does become involved and it's not a negative thing to want to give and share money, I think that's how we make our money grow as well. It doesn't have to always be just investing in money, in stocks, in real estate. And you know, I'm a huge proponent of that. That's the way I always was taught, I guess, mostly by you know men in my life that taught me how to make money from money. Um, you know, you invest in real estate, you invest in stocks, and I've followed those leads and, and it works, obviously. You can grow. Um, there's the, the magic of compound interest. <laughs> Thanks to my stepdad, um, Art, shout out to him. Um, and I had uh, another stepdad that was an accountant. You know, these guys taught me um, the compound interest and the magic of that and how if you start saving when you're young, you'll have way more money when you're older than you could ever have if you started later in life. And I took that to heart when I was 17 years old. <laughs> and so I'm very thankful to um, not just the women in my life, but the men in my life that were very strong leaders and had my best wishes for them. And of course, my father as well was such a huge role model in my life, who I'm still so very close to as well as my mother and, and friends. So, you know, there's so many people that you you are happy for the support of um, but as we get older and our families change in ways um, it's really the women around us right our friends maybe it starts out with or then the women mentors in business that give us that support and um, i'm finding more where i'm gaining a lot more of my life is not so much investing again in the things i was taught before um but really investing in myself as a woman and trusting myself and what, how I can grow my own business, investing in my business, not just investing in my hair and my nails and my wardrobe, <laughs> you know, like, you know, in your house and the decor and your body, but to guess investing in my mind and my business and other women, right? I've always um, wanted to help other women learn recruiting, for instance, and mentor them whenever I could. But right now, as you know, with these podcasts and with these, um, group sessions I'm putting together and with a real focus on 2Q with some private groups and helping women monetize their business. At the same time, I'm monetizing new businesses for myself. I've launched some new businesses this year um, while I'm launching my normal old searches for my clients. You know, I'm launching new business ideas and I'm putting more focus on that than ever. And I would say to all of you women listening, there's a, a power in that when not only do you focus on your own dreams and wishes but when you share those with other women and then you start listening to you know those women's dreams and desires for the future especially for all my women friends out there that are going to be empty nesters and you have this whole new set of what 20 years ahead you may have came off 20 years of raising kids and that was a beautiful thing i love my women friends and uh People I really um, inspire me have had their own businesses that whole time as well. Um, but for those of you just starting out that adventure of a business, you know, I'll tell you, there's nothing more, um, what's the word, empowering as a woman 
to launch a business and it can be anything. It doesn't have to be this huge enterprise you want to take on. You don't have to start with wanting to grow teams of women or anything like that. It can just be you in a quiet space in your house with a desk and doors that can close, <laughs> you know, a quiet space and your laptop so you can connect to the world. And maybe you decide to start using Instagram and Facebook for more than just sharing uh, the family photos, which that's enough in itself. Nothing wrong with that at all. That's a beautiful thing. I love going on there and seeing what's happening in my in lives of my loved ones. But um, there's other powerful ways you can use these platforms that businesses businesses use, and you can grow um, grow your ideas and realize that your ideas have a lot of value, and other women love those ideas. There are so many groups on Facebook right now, ladies, that. If you need a little inspiration, like women entrepreneurial groups, and I can often, I can never remember the names of them. There's many long names. Of course, I have Headhunting Housewives group that I've just started, but there's also other entrepreneurial groups where it's just really support. If you have an idea, you'll get, you know, hundreds of comments back on um, well wishes for that idea or support when I was trying to figure out certain things like a mailing list or what platforms to use. I would just write a question within these groups because I didn't want to bore my family and friends that weren't into that kind of stuff. So I found like-minded people and I would get, you know, all these answers back of this is what you should do. It was so helpful. It's like an instant, you know, search group or, or an instant, um, you know, marketing focus group, right? Where in the past you could pay for that kind of stuff. Or now Facebook, you ask a group of like-minded women and within seconds, they're your answers. I mean, can you imagine what our grandmothers would have thought to have that kind of power that we have at our fingertips right now? I'm sitting in the dark of my house, you know, before the sun comes up talking to a group of women that could be all over the world right now that are having like a single minded focus, similar to my stream of thought right now and finding power in that thought and maybe taking inspiration or guidance or support and taking that thought and growing it. And just what would our grandmothers have thought? <laughs> they would have thought we all did become little witchy women in some ways. I mean, um, it's just amazingly powerful. And a lot of times, like any time in our lives, us women have so much more power than we know. We feel alone or usually we, our power makes us feel weak when really we should be using it to give us strength. And so um, I know this Wednesday podcast is really high in the sky, I guess here, but I hope you're all with me because yesterday I kind of went low in the weeds <laughs> of tactical doing things, but um, you got to do both sometimes. You got to get the job done, but um, it's okay to put that other kind of witchy hat on and looking out into your window with your cup of coffee into the sky, maybe in the middle of the afternoon. Nothing's better than sitting on the beach all summer long with your feet in the sand and the ocean hitting it and looking into the blue and dreaming all my best business ideas every summer when I take off come from that time. And so when I'm in the middle of winter and I can't have my toes in the sand or in an ocean, at least not at this moment, um, you know, it might be cold outside, but I'm looking out my window with a nice warm cup of coffee out into the blue. Maybe it's the dark blue, the black almost, right? The sky. Um, but I'm having these thoughts and uh, there's power in it. So never take away from that time alone, ladies, and wishing. And then later come together with other women and wish together and, and find support in us to give um, your dreams, you know, some legs a little bit to kind of get some ideas rolling. And then they're not just dreams, but they'll become goals. And then they'll become, um, you know, things that you actually make happen and you'll gain so much confidence. It's such a beautiful thing when you make a decision to do something and it happens and you look back and you're like, wow, I just did that. And then you go into something bigger and uh, we all have that power. So I hope you play with that a little bit. And if you need support, come find us over at Headhunting Housewives because we're forming groups for TQ that I hope will serve everyone, not just the recruiters that want to rock it out in their recruiting business, but maybe you're starting a business and need help um, just support from other like-minded women. I got an email from someone yesterday Shout out to Amy that was thinking just that, you know, she's starting some of her own things, but she really needs that support and has enjoyed listening to the podcast. So um, you might not hear from me for a while because I'm just, I am doing other things, but I am seeing your messages and they're, um, I'm taking them to heart. They're probably forming some of these messages in my mornings more than I realize why my thoughts are going certain directions. 
So I love hearing from all of you. Um, so thank you for that. It's guiding me as much as I'm guiding you. So I really want to thank you for that support and inspiration as well and guidance. It's a two-way street, ladies, right? Like all our friendships are. Um, so that's it. I just want to leave you on this Wednesday with those kind of thoughts. So I never want you to get trapped in the busyness of your to-do list, right? So take a breath, take time for yourself and dream. And um, tomorrow I'll get back into recruiting with all of you that are finding that um, much needed. And we'll talk more about interviewing and helping how you bet once you find the people, how you interview and all that good stuff. So on Thursday, I'll try to get back into that with you. And I will have a private group session um, as well for women who want to learn, um, you know, about interviewing, questions to ask, and just have confidence on the phone if you're new to interviewing because you've got to get on there and kind of run that call to get to the information you need immediately. And I kind of teach you how to do that. You have to be confident and take control of that call. So we'll talk about how you do that. So um, have a really wonderful Wednesday, everyone. Middle of the week, you know, we're looking at the week's end. Tomorrow's our Friday <laughs> on Thursday. So um, you know, Wednesdays, I hope you have some fun things planned for yourself. You can take a breather in the middle of the week and, um, we'll just focus each day, one day at a time and getting closer to your dreams and goals. And I really feel fortunate to be in that dream with all of you since you get to be on it with me. So thank you. Um, talk to y'all soon. Bye.